so now what I'm going to do basically is go into here basically and um, start modeling the car, I would say. And start modeling the car basically in this tutorial. And go into here and start modeling the car itself. So where we last left off, we 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 did this like actual basically um, light fixture right here. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing um, this actual bottom light, which is going to, I think, go right here. So I'm probably going to go into here, friend. And select this right here. Like right here, I want to try to select this. And try to select this right here. Actually, what am I doing? Yeah, director's camera. So now what I'm going to do is go into here. Kind of select this right here. Maybe kind of scale this up a little bit like this. And like that. And scale that up a little bit like that. Where is this large? And now I'm going to actually start going into here and I don't want that to be too big. So I'm going to try to take the best accurate image of this. So I'm going to kind of indents like that. So what we need to do is this will be very simple. So I'm just going to go into here and go. But first, we're going to actually hit extrude and go link. And we're going to start extruding like that. And I'm going to hold down the shift key while I'm extruding to get that right measurement right there. Actually, first of all, I'm going to actually go into here and make sure that this is straightened out. So I'm going to go right scale, right click and I'm going to go scale. Or you can hit scale right here, but right click is a lot more faster. Like if you use a right click on a lot of these 3D animation application, it's used as a shortcut pretty much. So that's one thing to let you know on, I think. And then we're just going to go into here and move we're going to go extrude going to go right click scale Selection. And we're going to go move right here and go world, I think. And Gonna go extrude and just gonna go CTR extrude right here. We're gonna go right click move and move this to the side right here. And I'm just gonna go right click scale 
and actually I'm going to go move and going to go extrude and then hit the shift key while I extrude to inset that basically. Like if you use like the shift key while you're extruding, you can inset the actual object itself. So you're right, we would go right click scale and we would go by selection like that. Actually, I'm at, actually, I might go into here. And just like this, like this. That's more better like that. So now we select that. We go right click move and I went into here and I selected um, the extract along. And that's what you can do right there. It actually does a better job I find than extrude. And then we just go extrude like this by holding down the CTR key. And then we just hit move like this. And then we just delete that because we, we won't need that piece right there. So I guess I can just go in here and just kind of move that right here, not too far. And just kind of, I mean, you could always fix this in the future, definitely for sure. And we're going to move that. We're going to extract a long edge in the middle. Go extract around and just divide that up pretty good. And now we're just going to go into here and just like that. And now we're just going to go like extract around like this. And it automatically creates an indent like this, I think. And then we're just going to go extract around like this. And that's what we would select right here. Just gonna go in here. And just like this, I think. like that right here go into here and go CTR click like this and go into here I think and go into here and go ex extract around like this and we would just go into here and just go extract around like that and just divide that like that pretty much so I just want to get the images accurate so we want that to be even larger I think so we're gonna actually Move it like that. 
And this little bits right here, we can get rid of eventually in the future. So... So I'm just gonna go in here. Extract around. And just move. That like that. And just going to here, I think. Just go weld right here, I think. Move, and we're just going to actually go into edge and right click move. I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast, but just trying to get this done as fast as I can because this is a lot, this is a, a huge process working on this thing. So we would do that right click move, we would go into link right here and just link this, I think. With that, I would say, how much time we have left? So we reach, so like that. Move. And just go into here and go extract around like this. I'm just going to go dissolve. Actually, I'm going to go into here and while that right there and hit this and go into here while that together because this is like call the target weld tool. And then what I'm going to do is go into link and link that right here. this right here, and that's already link. Go into target weld, and just weld these together like that. Target weld. Target weld. Maybe you could add kind of a target right here and add targets right here. So when you go into scale, you're right, you would go scale by selection. And then that's like the four poly right here. So that's converted your right to like literally four poly. And then what we would do is we're gonna go into here and go target weld because we wanna clean this up as much as possible. So when we add smoothing onto this, it smooths is very nice and stuff like that. That's, that's the main thing. So you would hit target weld I'm just going to move this a little bit like that because I need 
room for my wrist, I think. So that's professionally done, I would say, right there. Then we're just going to go weld free position. We're gonna we're gonna go into add tool right here and this is a shortcut you can do is hit the G key and you would weld these together basically like that. And then we hit target weld and we make sure we're on like vor vertex select mode. And then we would select that right there with target weld. Like that, right click, move, and you're right, the only thing we would do is kind of like go into here, and here's a very fast method of doing this. We would select this, we would go into extract along, like that. So when we go into scale like this, we would scale that down like that and go into move like that. And that's all for poly. Then we make sure we're on target select. We select that and we wheel these target vertices together like that to make sure that that's like for poly. So I guess that's good. The only thing I'm going to add in here, to be honest, is maybe second line right here to make that as much for a poly.
And that's what we would do right there. And that's like one of the car itself, I think. And now, now one of the main things we're going to do is... Go into here, I think, and what I'm going to do in here is kind of like select this. front. We're actually going to go front right here. And make sure that selection and off and world is on. And then we're gonna move. We're actually gonna go in here and go strat along. Whenever you want to move a vertices, that's what you would do. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and Track the lawn right there. And go into here, scale. So that's what we would have right there. Move. So like that. So that's the way we want it. To look like that. Actually, I'm just going to go link. And what I want to try to do is kind of like create an enactment of that piece right there. So I'm just going to go into here and go extrude. And extrude. Like that. Not too much down like that, like right about there. And 
now we're going to do it to this piece too. So we're going to go into here. Right click scale. And just scale that down like that. And I'm just going to dissolve this, I would say. Dissolve this, I would say, right here. Gonna go scale like this. Just gonna go into here.
So that's what I did so far. So I'm going to select all of this, move. I'm going to go extract around. And I'm just going to go basically in here, going to go target weld. We're going to go CTRL while hitting the selection tool to kind of deselect that in a way. Sorry if this is taking longer than usual. So I'm just going to go in here, extract around. Right click, move. And just move that down right about there. Click now. right here and gonna go right click move and select that basically I would say Like this, I would say. It's like that. Just go reset working plane on top of here. And now we're just going to go into here, link this to this.
it's like that. I'm just going to go into here and extract around like that. And just go into here and make sure we're going to target well these. And just go into here and and just go in as smooth, I would say. And that's what we have right there so far already worked out, I would say. I mean, the only thing what we're going to do is we're probably going to go into here. You know, kind of add a segment right here. Like that, just, just, just to send this out, I would say. And that's what it looks like so far. ready to be used and I'm just going to look at this to get the right idea to move this up like that just kind of add a more thickness towards this I guess that's really long enough so we've did most of the things right there so on the second tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to be working mainly on I'm going to be going more on the extrude the, 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 I'm on the next tutorial I'm going to be going more on bo the, 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 the boolean tool I think I'm bullying these pieces right out so I'm going to probably bully this entire piece right here I think bully this entire piece right here and go into this one section right here. 
and start bullying this entire piece right here, I think, on this, I would say. So I'm just going to go into here. So yeah, this entire piece right here, I'm just going to bull bullying this entire piece right here, right out of the entire socket, and kind of bullying that entire piece right there. And then what I'm going to probably end up doing is start bullying pieces like that and that right out of the actual object itself and then add everything out on there definitely for sure so i'm just going to go into here and go director's camera so that's a pretty good job actually let me smooth that out that's a really, really good job. I like it. So once we're done one half of this, what we're going to do is we're going to start duplicating the other half. And then we're going to finish this one top piece right here. And then the next piece that we're going to do right here is after the bumper, honestly, is we're going to do this piece right here, which is a side skirt. And maybe start getting started on doing more the roof of the car, I would say. Or maybe we're going to do, you're right, like the doors and getting the door shell done. And then the roof of the car. And stuff like that on that, I think. So I guess that's it with this tutorial of... What, what number is this tutorial? I think this is part 4 or part 5. But I guess that's it with this tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe. And please give me likes if you like if you want or anything like that. And please subscribe and please give me likes if you want. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you like it. And please subscribe, I would say. And give me likes as well. Definitely for sure give me likes. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, hello, basically. I'm actually back for um, another Carrera, another Carrera car mod. I'm actually back to show you the finishing product for chap for parts part five or so. I'm just showing you the finished bumper product and what I've did so far. Because if I were to show you this thing, I say it and show you the full detail of this getting done. I think this would basically take up a lot of time and I want to make these this to chapter very quick quick and not too long. So this is what the finished bumper looks like as you can see. It looks exactly like this. And the bumper is probably in a car out of the car any type of car modeling. You're going to find most of the time the bumper is the most hardest part to get done out of the car shell itself. Because there's so much detail and holes, you have to pay attention to the car shell. So, what we would go right here is decimal bumper right here, I would say. So that 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 right there is a separate piece. As you can see, this p these two pieces, including that hole in the the, the bumper, is like cut out by a boolean modifier. It was cut out by an actual boolean, I would say. So that was cut out by a boolean, I would say. And these pieces, as you can see right here, if I were to cl click on these. As you can see, these are actually all separate pieces from the from from the model mesh that that I modeled out to 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 get this to actually run on, and then I just place this right inside the mesh like that. This piece right here was um, kind of a screw hole I actually modeled in. So I actually cut this piece out with the add tool and kind of use the link tool as I go along and add, let's say, use target weld. And then when I actually get everything modeled in the right place, I actually, um, 
modeled out basically, I select right in the middle of that infrastructure and I added, let's say for example, an actual circle, a, a, a line vertex, line edge circle, segment circle. And then I add that right in the middle. And then I basically kind of like rotate it to be the way it is. And then I actually went into here and add, add polygon to fill up all those areas. And then I just extruded all this down to get that one screw hole looking like that. But other than that, that's what it looks like. And then I kind of actually hit duplicate symmetry. So when I hit duplicate symmetry, it duplicated on the other side right there. And that's all it is. It's very, very simple like that. You can easy master this very easy. And the next thing I'm going to work on is going to work on the, the door, the bottom of the side skirt of the car, and then maybe work on the hood and like the area where it connects to the bumper and the trunk. And then basically we're actually going to call it it basically with that. And then the next thing what I'm going to probably end up doing the tie the truth is, yeah, after that, we're, 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 we're probably did most majority of the job, basically, right there. We did most majority of the job, and we're almost, definitely almost completed the actual thing itself. And then the only thing what we would do, honestly, after that, after the car shell modeling, we would go on to the second chapter doing small details like the light, the grill, the door handles, the windows, all that, etc. And then what we're, and then you're right, we're, we're pretty much, and then, so basically stay tuned for part six of this tutorial, I would say, but I'm showing you what the, the final product of the bumper looks like to get, giving you an idea what have I did so far on this thing right here. Let me go out of here and that's what it looks like right there. And let me stop that right 